Onjalama, Noe. My name is Arasa Malik, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing another sword reveal for my collection. Um, and this sword is another African sword, of course, except this one is from a different region called the Sahel. And the Sahel is sort of the, the, um, the intermediary line between the Sahara Desert, which is in North Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa, which consists of Nigeria, Ghana, Ivory Coast, all those Sub-Saharan countries, right? So this sword is called the Tacoba. As you can see here, it's a long sword. Um, double-edged and this sword is very very popular amongst various ethnic groups in the Sahel uh, specifically the Fulani which I am a descendant of as well as the Tuareg, uh, the Hausa and a few others as well um, this one is one of my favorites and I actually just got this sword I just won it at an auction recently uh, from a buyer, I mean from a seller, I think in Italy. Uh, this sword was in Italy, so I just picked it up. You know, I figured um, these swords, you know, the, these African artifacts, they're in the hands of, you know, European collectors. Um, so why not they're why not they be in the hands of you know the descendants of the people who actually use these items? You know, I, that's that's why I feel I had I have like a killmonger. <laughs> type of mentality, Eric Killmonger from Black Panther, for whoever's seen it, type of mentality when it comes to this stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, so this sword is is very, very interesting. Um, let's just look at the, the engravings first, the outer scabbard of it. Um, I really like it because this is the tip, right? And it has these blue and black engravings on it, as well as a casing at the end, which is made out of brass. Um, brass and sterling silver as you can see here this is the back portion of it and I think it's just for design but if you look close I don't know if I can pick it up on the camera uh, but it has a lot of different designs and I read that these designs mean different things to different tribes uh, in different areas and those designs kind of run all along the scabbard it's really hard to pick up but you might be able to see a few of them and you might see these crosses right here at the hilt at the cross guard rather and all of these engravings markings they mean different things like I said um, there's, there's some that are common are the crescent moon you'll see a lot you'll see spirals you'll see a lot of lines that uh, are horizontal and vertical lines um, you'll see a lot of diamonds, you'll see a lot of dots and, and stars, asterisks, as you can see, the lines and crosses. And those are all, those are all very, very tribal and they have their special meanings to different people. But this sword really, um, I believe it is a Tuareg sword. And I say that because if you look here on the handle, it's covered with leather. Just like the rest of the sword instead of just being pure iron and i say that because the tuareg have an aversion to touching iron they can't touch it it's a taboo in their in their culture and society so that's that's my hunch um, there's also a couple straps here for um for like a harness so that you can kind of wear it over your shoulder and i think i'm gonna i'm gonna make one and put it on there but yeah so that's the outside of it let me show you the inside so this is like I said an iron blade and I would say the blade is about 37 and a half inches long so this is this is a long short sword you know All right um, I would say it's a little bit more I'm trying to get down the middle it's a little bit more sharp than my Malinke saber on the sofa saber from the last video and it does have a few markings on it and that's just from it being so old it is an antique again this one I believe is from the 20th century the mid no yeah the mid 20th century I would say so it's fairly new actually and you can see it has a little bit of a shine still so it's younger than my other blade but yeah that's my Tacoba 
Uh, again, these are the swords of the people of the Sahel. So those are the desert, desert. Uh, that's kind of the Sahel is pretty much like a half desert, half Sahara. And those people wear, wear turbans because of the sand. And most of them, they they carry swords. Um, it's kind of customary. And right now, I'm in the process of looking up um, different sword dances as well as martial arts that these indigenous tribes uh, may still practice to this day for the reason of recreating them in a modern context um, through, through an association that I'm actually a part of uh, by the name of HAMA, which stands for Historical African Martial Arts Association, H-A-M-A-A. -A. So if you have the chance, be sure to check out HAMA on Facebook, Instagram, as well as YouTube. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check them out. Uh, and see all the different things that me and, and my my partners are working on. So, thank you for watching. Jamtoon, peace only. I wish you farewell and good night. Awo. <laughs>